I was just driving home to do this on at home, but it turns out they're still working on that garage. So, the streak has come to an end. Very, you know, un anticlimactically, to be honest. Because I picked Keslowski to to do to win the race and for streak. And you know what happened? Wrecked on lap fucking 20, so that's just great. As for fantasy, the best finish of any driver that I had was 15th of Carl Edwards. Everybody else finished 29th or worse. I give up. As for the race itself, what a mess. That's literally one of the, the, the just the, just a, what a mess of a race. Eric Jones suddenly makes his cup debut out of virtually nowhere. That was incredible. Nine hours of broadcasting. Nine hours. And they still bare, barely got it in with all the fucking rain. What a, what a mess of a race. Kurt Busch's crew chief sideline due to kidney stones. Even crazier. And in the end, I kind of saw it from a mile away. I knew, like, before the race started, like, a long time ago, I should just not even pick a driver for the streak because it is way too erratic. And guess what happened? I picked a driver, and guess what happened? They fucking ran. And guess what else? I said for the whole weekend, since, like, Thursday, I said that Keselowski was going to win the race. Karma powers activate. So, apparently, karma powers only work when I don't want them to work. That's the only time that they will work is when it is most inconvenient for me. So that's what I learned. As for the actual race itself, like I said, just such a mess of a race. And amazingly, throughout, through all the wrecking, and all that business. I think only one car was retired from the race. And that would be Castle. There were several different leaders during the race. Larson is a notable one. He was driving away with the race if he hadn't gone into the pit and, you know, I don't think he would have made it because the three ran out of gas and he would like pit way before, way after Larson, so. Yeah. Justin Allgaier got his best career finish. I'm happy with that. And, um... I remember... Kenseth won. Miraculously. I mean, Johnson was there. You gave, you give Johnson probably one more lap. He would have probably stuck it in there and won that race. And not to say that, but the race was 511 laps long with 117 caution laps run. And I apologize that this is probably a very boring video right now. My voice is just not clicking. I feel like fucking shit, so just going to try and rattle the rest of those off here quick. Truex finished 29th miraculously after all the bullshit that he went through. I am okay with that. The fact that he finished at all is okay with me. Bump. Bump. So, next is Richmond. 
I don't know about that race either. Race 26, Richmond 2014, was the worst race that I have ever seen. It ranks right up there with the worst races that I've ever seen. And not that there was like a lack of, um, you know, um, Boyer Gate type stuff that I thought was gonna happen, but just that there was a lack of anything really. It was the most boring, unbelievably boring races ever. It was just absolutely horrendous. I hope that never happens again. As for Bristol, that one wreck with Almondinger and I don't remember who did it, but they went up the track and got mirrors, went down the track and got Truex. It was just, a, that was just, that pissed me off. Johnson wrecks Jeb Burton, and that's just fantastic because that should have made Johnson's day end but instead he gets fucking second. What an asshole. Th how anyone survived that race is beyond me. Like all the wrecks and most of them took place right at the front. Like there was that one wreck with, uh... Did Bush wreck twice in this race? I think Bush wrecked twice in this race. Once with Edwards and then once like just sliding around there. McMurray blew a tire. That got some guys. Just what a mess. I gotta say, just what a mess. And of course, the only thing that Danica can ever win, Lucky Dog, literally, I think five times in that race just kept getting the lap back and then going right the fuck back down and keeping down other drivers that could actually, you know, do shit. As opposed to Danica, that guy's in a turban. I am not concerned though. What a mess of a race just in general. That was, and I'm kinda sad that it had Steve Burns' name all over it. That's all that they talked about through the whole race. And it was just generally not fun to watch between the wrecks involving people I like constantly happening, constantly happening, and the rain. Did I mention the rain? I might have mentioned the rain. Between the rain and watching all those people wreck, you know, That was just not fun in general. So, Harvick caught up in an accident. Something we thought would never happen. I knew that his luck was gonna run out at some point. It was going to at some point. I thought it was gonna be last weekend, wherever the hell they were, Texas, I think. I thought that's where it was going to be. It was going to be caught up in a wreck. But instead it was this week. Um, I only draw. I didn't even drop a hundred uh, spots in streak to the finish. So I think a whole lot of people's streaks came to an end last weekend. And I just, I knew that I should have just not even bothered. I should have just stopped doing the sprint cup races altogether. And just pick the 22 for every single nationwide race. That's who I picked for the streak. It's not because, because what I always wanted to do with the streak and fantasy is just pick drivers that I actually like. And I don't know why I'm driving here again. Um, that was always the thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to rely on drivers that I actually like. But this weekend I said screw it. Because I wanted to keep the streak alive. And I knew I... Because I was either going to pick Harvick, Edwards, or Keselowski for the streak. 
and all three of them finished outside the top 10, so it was a lose-lose-lose situation in that case. And, you know, it's just not even, it's not even worth thinking about. So, the streak of 11 correct picks has come to an end. I wanted to get 20 so I could get free tickets to NASCAR races. Of course not. Of course not. But anyway, yep. <coughs> oh, fucking hell. <coughs> it hurts. <coughs> A lot. Yep, so that's it. That's all I'm going to talk about. Richmond, I don't know if I'm excited yet, but there is an Xfinity race next weekend on my birthday. <coughs> and if I could ask for anything on my birthday, it's that somebody wrecks the 22 in the Xfinity race. That's all that I want. If someone wrecks the 22, I'd be happy. I'd be satisfied. I'd be okay with that. That would be a good birthday for me. Yes, sir. So in any case, that's NASCAR review. Hopefully I don't die by the next one. I feel like fucking ass. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Bye.